you guys saw the thumbnail. So let's get into this. I don't think you hear a little squeaking, squeaking toy or something like that. It's uh, Lady Pipsy playing with her stuff here in the corner. There it is. She's just having a good old time. But I saw this and I thought about it and I saw the spec and I was like, you know what? It's not too terribly expensive. I can just get this and then get, cause there is a fly more package. I had the fly more package and I, the only thing good about the fly more package is it gives you the batteries. Everything else I think they just throw in to make it look like you have something, but whatever. This is a Mavic mini. The Mavic mini basically is the replacement to the spark, but this, the camera is better and the distance is a little bit better and you don't attach via Wi-Fi to your phone. Your phone is the, is the screen that you use to observe where the camera is on the, on the drone. That's a big thing because I made a video the other day and I think that's, it was just, there's too much interference. I was sitting in a park in the middle of the city and I just think there's too much interference. I have a little bit better luck here. Not that we're very far outside, but I know that when I've flown it in a more secluded park on the east side of town, I didn't have as many issues. I got it up higher and didn't really, didn't really mess up as much as it did in that, in that, in the park in Midtown. Midtown Houston I don't know it's a new camera it's a new toy and here it is wow everything came out in one shot that's good okay. Mavic mini you see everybody else this thing is smaller than my hand I'm not a I'm I'm not a giant I'm not a giant person or whatever but this thing is tiny and it feels it feels tiny I'm it's not a put down it just is what it is I don't know what I popped off there I thought it broke it already what is this oh it had a little band on here okay good I thought I broke it already because <laughs> it does feel it does feel delicate I'll I'll tell you that much this oh and it already has a battery in it so the batteries there's how they get you because although this is 30 minutes it's so practically probably about 22 24 minutes so that's not too bad it does not have a charger but it does come with the cable and it has a micro sd uh, yeah it's all in here So the only advantage of the fly more package is like here's a micro uh usb to charge it because i realized i took the battery out but i have to charge it to make it work here are the the screws for the room uh, not the screws the thumb the the joysticks that's what i'm looking for the joysticks for the remote the remote feels about the same size as the spark which is pretty nice it feels almost exactly the same. It's the same material. It's uh, there's an input on the side for USB to lightning in my case. And what is oh, this is a screwdriver. It gives you one extra set actually. One, two. Oh, it gives you two sets of propellers. So at least if you screw up more than two at one time, it's kind of on you, <laughs> I guess. And uh, DJI will gladly take your money to replace them and get you other ones. Iphonio referred to this as a uh, IQ test. So that's the gimbal cover. That's pretty nice. The battery buttons and let's just take this off for the moment. So there you go. This thing is tiny. It really is. Everybody's talking about that, how tiny it is and blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's just the case. That's really the way it was. So what I'm going to do now, I think that was everything in the box. Screwdriver, propellers, joysticks. 
The big thing here is to charge it and I'll get it up in the air. I'll do that with a vlog and we'll have fun with this thing. Cause this is going to be this thing without the battery just feels like it's fake. It feels like when you go to the store and they have a, a demo unit, that's what it feels like in here. So Mavic mini, I'm excited to charge it and give it a, give it its uh, initial flight. So I'm getting ready to fly for the first time, but there's an update. Actually, I bought this, on, I got it on the 4th of December. So now I'm applying the 0 0.0300 firmware update, which gives uh, quite a few updates. One, two, three, four, five, six different updates. Stabilization, the app, things to do with um, just mostly the aircraft itself or the drone or however you want to say it so this part of all uh, with dealing with these types of, of uh, drones a big part of it is having to constantly update so it takes a little while so always prepare to if you know you're going to fly check it the you know about an hour before so that way i don't know how long this is going to take it's probably going to take like 15 minutes but give yourself time because there's probably going to be an update i'm ready to go first flight signals a lot of I'm on 5.8 but it's still struggling to get over 300 feet it keeps giving me an error uh, the RC lost actually I completely lost it at one point and I, I didn't panic because I had my home point set but it's always not fun to have to hope that it gets back into range quickly but I've been flying for 13 minutes the video hasn't stopped once I'm at 46% on battery so I mean it's it's okay. I think I think a lot of it has to do with the area. There's houses all the way around, so you're just gonna have all kinds of uh, interference. I am fairly strong with my Wi-Fi signal. I have 18 satellites for my GPS, so it has it, it is okay, but it's not what it should be. I need to try this out in a more open space. But I have been recording this whole time and the video looks pretty great. I'm excited to get it on my computer and take a look. So far the first flight has been pretty glitchy, but that's to be expected. I'm not an expert drone pilot, obviously. I'm just, uh, I just like to play around with this stuff. So I'm going to try to get it in and then we'll take a look at the video. The big thing, as with any device like this, is the battery life. The battery life is really nice on this. I was able to get about... 25 minutes of flight time with one battery. I only have the one battery because I just bought the, the drone and not the fly more package. Frankly, because the fly more package was not available and I just wanted to get this and try it out. So this takes about 90 minutes to charge or so from about 10%. And that's just directly plugging in. Maybe the their charger is faster. I know. I think I have the other one for the Spark, and it seems a little bit faster than that. I can charge three at a time there. Charging single battery at a time takes a little bit longer, I'm guessing. It's not a not a deal breaker, not a bad thing. It's just how it is. But 25 minutes compared to like about 10 for the Spark, night and day difference, obviously. This, I had trouble with it. I think a lot of it has to do with interference. I set the uh, Wi-Fi mode to automatic, or uh, the radio mode to automatic, and sh I probably should just uh, statically define it. But there's a lot of, uh, it's just a matter of getting used to it. I've only flown once, obviously, and I just finished charging the battery. That's why I was coming back for this. So I just gotta put more time into it, I think. I think this, as far as just usage goes, the only thing I see is how I'm going to store it. It, it. I have the case for the Spark. I think I'm going to use that. And these, the, the propellers flop, flop around a little bit. I'm just scared I'm going to snag it and crack it off. Hopefully that doesn't happen. So Spark, so far, seems pretty good. <laughs> 